I'm pretty sure you have a friend who's always asking, "Hey, do you have an extra pen? I forgot to bring mine." I've asked that single question probably more than any other question I've asked in school. And luckily there's always a nice sweet person who carries an extra pen who gives it to you. Now you look at this happening with guys like me and then you decide that you have an idea, a business idea. So you say that I'm going to buy a few extra pens and keep them. You're going to buy a few pens and keep them and when one of us needs it you're going to sell it to us. So let's say you bought the pen for 10 rupees and you keep them with you and then when one day when when we need that pen you say hey here it is and you can have it though for 12 rupees 12 rupees and you say that you know i went to the shop i did all this work so i need these extra 2 rupees and we need the pen so let's say we buy it so what you have done here is buy it at 10 rupees so the price you bought it has another name it's the cost right so it's called the cost price cost price and uh, sometimes i wonder why it's called the cost price isn't it just a cost but i guess this works so cost price is uh, cp for short and uh, what the price you sold it for is called the selling price selling price which makes sense the price at which you sell is the selling price and which is also written as sp for short so that we don't have to write this big word again and again and when your selling price is more than your cost price like over here you are a clever businessman so you have sp minus cp is greater than 0 when this happens in other words sp minus cp greater than 0 is another way of saying sp is greater than sp is greater than cp so when that happens we say that you've made a profit the price you sold it for is bigger than the price you bought it for and how much is that profit so we calculate that by just calculating what is sp minus cp in this case that's 12 minus 10 So SP minus CP, and that's equal to two rupees, and that two rupees is called your profit. Now you could have done it another way. You could have said, "Hey, I'm just selling this. I'm just doing this for fun. I went to the shop anyway. I don't really need extra money. So just give me ten rupees for for your pen." And uh, when you do this, then what you've done is just sold it such that the selling price equals the cost price, and in this case, your your profit is zero rupees. profit is 0 rupees now you could have done it another way as well if you think about it what you could have done is that maybe you suddenly needed some money and uh, you know you were hungry and you wanted to go to the canteen and you did not have any money but everybody had a pen that day so nobody really wanted to buy a pen so you thought about it you said you know what i know nobody here needs a pen but i'm going to give this pen that i bought for 10 rupees for 9 rupees and you know that there are people who no matter even if they do have a pen they cannot resist such a discount so they they say okay i'm going to buy one and then now what you've done is sold this pen such that the selling price is actually less than the cost price now you might have done this for many reasons but when you do this what you've done is called make a loss because your selling price was lower than your cost price you bought it for 10 but sold it for just 9 and in this case how much is that loss the loss is because the cost price is bigger than the selling price we say the cp minus the sp and that's equal to 1 rupee a loss of 1 rupee over here it was the sp minus the cp which was equal to a gain or a profit a profit is also called a gain sometimes a gain of 2 rupees now if you're comfortable with negative numbers There's another way to look at this, very similar but just slightly different way. So you can ask yourself from 10, from my cost price, what should I do to get to my selling price? And if the answer is add 2, you do 10 plus 2 to go to 12. If you see a plus 2 here, then you can say it's a plus so it's a profit and the amount of the profit is 2 rupees. If you see a plus 0 or if you want to you can put a minus 0 there, then whatever it is as long as you see a zero just a zero over here you can say it's neither a profit nor a loss so zero rupees and if you have to go from 10 to 9 what must you do 10 minus 1 is 9 so you write 10 minus 1 over here 10 minus 1 equals 9 then you can say okay i have to subtract to go to my selling price then i see a negative sign so a negative means loss and how much is that loss it's 1 rupee 